help me out of a predicament. As a matter of fact, Dad, I think it does. Especially because I'm in a full-blown affair with a married man. Yes, Dad, I kissed James, and it's not like I didn't want to do it. I wanted him for a bit, and I know the feelings were mutual. Aren't you going to tell me that I'm just setting myself up for a major heartbreak? Is he going to leave his wife? Am I going to be his secret lover for the rest of my life? I understand your worries, Caroline. Do you? You see, love is a complicated matter. The decisions we take can have long-lasting consequences. I cannot predict what James would do. But I need you to remember that you deserve happiness and a committed relationship. You shouldn't settle for being someone's secret. I'm not sure I know what that means, especially coming from the one person who pushed me into this corner. A tough spot. I, I know... is isn't just tough. I feel dirty. And how am I not supposed to settle for less and still be the woman that pushes James to leave his wife? no more. She was one of my best students. Who could have done such a thing to her? She had so much potential. She was a sweetest soul. It's fine. Have some water. Um, I'm so sorry, Lankai. This is such a devastating loss. What do you want to do? Um, where are the kids? Are they okay? They're fine. I already left. No, no. No? no. What do you mean, no? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Lanka. I, I just don't seem to be in the right frame of mind at the moment. I mean, I'm sorry. It's not you. This is, this is all me. I mean, I, I just can't seem to be in the, in the right mood right now. I mean, surely you, you would understand, right? Leave. What? If you're not in the mood, what is the point of being here? I think you should leave. Okay, I... And you shouldn't sleep here for a while either. What? Okay. Life has taught me it's not always fair or balanced. We often find ourselves with less than what we think we deserve. But here's the thing, my dear. It's about our mindset. Even with half of what we think we should have, we should make it whole, if that's what we want. Right now, James might seem like half of what you desire, but you have the power to make it whole, if that's what you truly want. 
Never underestimate the strength within you to shape your own happiness. I don't know, Dad. Of course you do. You're stronger than you realize, Caroline. Never forget that. Life may throw challenges at us, but it's how we choose to face them that truly matter. Okay, but I have a question. Yes. What exactly did you mean when you said to not settle for being someone's secret? And that please, by all means, don't mince your words. Give it to me. Why did it take you so long to acquire this? The, the, the doctor came in late, so I wanted to wait for him to come, so I take it from him. I'm sorry for the delay. Which hospital? Uh, you heard me. It's, 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 a, it's a public hospital. And you'd have me believe public hospitals remain nameless? It's it's on the it's on the report. Birds in the cage. What's our next move? Are you really going to do that, sir? Yes, Rita. You leave me with no other choice. Chief of Police, for the dirty answer, please. find out? Tell me. I have been suspended. Suspended? But why? Huh? What is going on here? Huh? How the hell did that happen? Aren't you supposed to be at work? What are you doing back here? Is everything okay?
Hi, Detective Ansa. Hi, Rita. Uh, please come in. Thank you. Detective Ansa is here to take you to the station for questioning about the incident that happened yesterday. Wait, wait, what incident? What are you guys talking about? Why, why would they want to question me? I haven't done anything. Huh? I need you to tell them everything. Everything that happened. You didn't do anything. And so that's the more reason why you have to cooperate. Okay? So please, trust me. Officer? Yes, sir. Take care of me. We told him. We told him. We sister. Go on, take care away. we Rita, please. I advise you to let her go this way. And maybe you can follow up later on. Rita, what the hell is going on? Rita, what the hell is going on? Kev, I, I don't have all the answers yet, but I sure will. I promise I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, well, okay, I'm not looking for all the answers. The ones you have right now will do just fine. So, what's going on? And why is she being dragged to the police station like some criminal? Rita, hmm? did she do something? Do we need to lawyer up? Rita! Tell me something. Damn it. Hate to say it. It seems like you've been stood up, Sarah. No. I haven't. He's going to show up. He wouldn't dare leave me hanging like that. You could be right. Because that boy doesn't have a spine without you. You know, just in case uh, Kevin changes his mind and doesn't come through, I'm all in. I'll marry you right now to prove it. What? I thought you said the judge was fake. Of course he is. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Look, Jude. You better not play any tricks on me. And I am not joking. So beware. Ooh. Someone's quite got it. Look. One wrong move. And you can say Baba to your millionaire status. <laughs> See, threaten me all you want, but I'm not a problem here right now. Your husband better show up. A corpse? Rita, this is, this is, this is a really, really big deal. Um... People rot in prison for being suspects of way less serious criminal investigations, even when they're innocent. Rubbish justice system. George just has to tell the truth, all of it, exactly how it happened. She will. Uh, that I am certain. Mm -hmm. But what I'm uncertain about is whether or not her testimony will hold. But you've had to testify against a lot of criminals you've arrested before, right? So you tell me, in your opinion, 
Joe's story told truthfully, would it hold water in court? Uh, I don't know. Unless... Unless... Uh... Unless... Ah, uh, I see missed calls from Sarah. I have to go. Are you serious? What is more important than your mother, your sister being arrested? Look, I'll explain everything later, I promise. I'll be back before you know it, okay? If you hear anything, let me know, okay? Twitter. I need to see you right away. Nick, about that getaway idea you suggested, I'd like to take it up today. I want to spend some time on me. So can we go? Come. What do you hear? She's back? No, she called. Okay, and? Sister's still in a bad place, so. So? They need the full amount this time, so she's dealing with that. She mentioned you'd be pitching in to help, so. Yeah, I haven't. How much do you have? All of it. All of what? All the money her sister needs for the surgery. All of it? <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, that's what I just said. I'll be sorting everything out today. So, how do I get it to her? She, she left uh, an account number. Great. Uh, uh, hold on. Where the hell did you get all that money from? I mean, no, that's a load of cash, which I'm pretty sure you personally don't have. Excuse me? How the hell are you sorting it out? Whose money is it, Noah? How the hell did you get all that money? I don't have to answer that. Oh, you do? If I talk to your mom? You do no such thing. Oh, I won't? Why the hell are you going above and beyond for a girl you barely even know, huh? I know her. You think you know her? I probably know her, okay? You know her from where? No, no!
My office? Please. You called, sir? Yes, Linda. I need a favor. I need you to gather information for me. Of course, sir. What do you need? I want any information you can get on a girl called Sherifa. Mentioned severally by some people at the hostel. Gave me a picture, details of her time at the center, um, why she left, and if possible, um, where she lives now. Anything. Consider it done, sir. Um, I'll start digging right away. The usual discretion. Totally. Um, I'll make sure to keep it discreet. Thank you, Linda. Madam, it's Linda. I have important information to share. What's going on, Linda? Um, Madam, Van has asked me to gather information on Sherifa. He wants a picture, any details we have on her, and her current whereabouts. I'll do better than that. I'll provide him with Sherifa herself. Wait, what? How? We'll expect you back in a couple of hours. Okay, thank you. Hey boss, what do you need? Well, go to her. Get her ready. It's become crucial. And Penny has been found. The saga is about to begin. Roger that. We'll be on standby. And I'll be out of coverage area for a few hours. Is there a problem? Just worn out. Going to refuel and get back in action. Your name, please. Rita Fojo. No, no, no. Yes, sir. Are we going for the accident? All calls should be directed to Linda, okay? Yes, sir. Come down this well and phone on our speed. Thank you. The police have picked up Sister Joe for questioning, based on your accusation to the chief of police. Despite the fact that Joe was the one that discovered Penny's body, I... So, I was right. Joe killed Penny. No, Honorable Kosa, and you must listen to me. Someone is trying to frame up your wife, and perhaps even you. This is beyond Penny's death. And my detective brain cells tells me that someone is plotting something against you for something big. Young lady, what the hell are you talking about? Neither Joe or your first wife. And so what? And so I'm trying to tell you that your first wife is not even behind Penny's death. You are walking on thin ice, Rita. I know because I use your head. And not your heart. We need to get Sister Joe out of the grips of the police before your life becomes a spectacle right before your face. I can assure you that's what's going to be if you want to go down that path. Stop. 
State your full name for the record. 